Wearable screens have had a significant impact on our lives, and there is much more to come as technology improves in the future. What are wearables exactly? We've witnessed fresh, disruptive advances in wearable technology in recent years. These advancements can potentially change people's lives, businesses, and the global economy. Google Glass, Apple Watch, Fitbit, Motive Ring, and Oculus Rift are just a few wearables that promise to transform how we receive, utilize, and share data. The wearable revolution shifts the long-held patterns of using data in our everyday lives and social relationships. It's a lot more intimate. Perhaps we will use this technology in the fashion sector to reflect our identity, social standing, and emotions. Or we could incorporate it into our bodies to improve our cognitive capacities. We may also see wearables that are more advanced and small in size, with expanded memory capacity, allowing marketers to collect product data without the consumer's knowledge, resulting in cost savings. It's also worth noting that, due to this improvement, we can expect increasing dangers, with users being concerned about their privacy and security. What is the operation of wearable technology? Wearable technology works primarily by adding microprocessors, batteries, and internet connectivity so that we may synchronize the acquired data with other gadgets, such as mobile phones or laptop computers. Smartwatches, activity trackers like the Fitbit Charge, VR headsets, web-enabled eyewear, and Bluetooth headphones are just a few examples of modern wearable technology. They function differently depending on their categories, such as health, fitness, or entertainment. Built-in sensors and wearables keep track of physical motions, give biometric identity, and help with location monitoring. The most prevalent wearables, such as activity trackers and smartwatches, come with a strap that wraps over the user's wrist to track their physical activities or vitals throughout the day. Wearable screens are becoming an extension of our bodies. For example, when we consider the magnified vision, we may picture the contact lenses taking on a higher notch dimension, allowing the wearer to have a complete virtual perspective, bringing distant objects closer, or have night vision. This is just another way that wearable technology might help us improve our cognitive abilities, including sight, hearing, and touch, among other things. To put it another way, technology will make us superhuman. Wearable body components will also have a more prominent use in persons with disabilities. It's worth noting. We will see microscopic neurosensors that can read brain waves in the case of cerebral palsy and stroke, for example. These will be attached to objects such as chairs, remote controls, and a variety of other items so that they may be controlled without having to touch them physically. Wearable screens are often seen in consumer gadgets such as smartwatches and fitness trackers. Wearable displays are being implemented into various contexts ranging from healthcare, navigation systems, consumer products, and professional sports to sophisticated fabrics thanks to recent breakthroughs in the internet and AI. Let's look at some of the most popular and cutting-edge wearable screen apps. The Terasaki Institute for Biomedical Innovation developed wearable electronic skin for health monitoring. The ultra-thin e-skin patch, which may be applied to the wearer's chest region, and a tiny wireless transmitter using water spray and worn for up to a week is the next generation of wearable displays. It is sensitive enough to pick up and record electric signals like heartbeats and muscle movements, which may then be communicated to healthcare providers through the cloud for remote monitoring of the user's vitals. This sophisticated wearable may track chronic conditions like heart failure and diabetes. The gaming and entertainment sectors initially adopted VR headsets, smart glasses, and controllers. Popular VR headsets such as the Oculus Quest, MetaQuest, and Sony PlayStation VR are used for various activities, including gaming, viewing movies, and virtual travel. In the medical field, wearable screens are becoming increasingly popular. In today's healthcare business, wearable screens are becoming increasingly important. People demand more access to professional gadgets outside of healthcare organizations and the ability to self-monitor their health. In the form of wearables, healthcare technology began to spread through the confines of hospitals, rehabilitation centers, clinics, and other healthcare institutions. People can now afford to have customized healthcare equipment in their homes since they are more widely available. Electrocardiogram monitors are wearable gadgets that assess how well a patient's heart is operating. Apple Watch, Samsung Galaxy, Fitbit Sense, AmazeFit, and other smartphone and gadget manufacturers have upgraded their smartwatches with ECG monitors. 
Wearable devices now employ only a single lead probe compared to the 12 used in hospital ECGs. Even if the technology isn't as good as hospital equipment, it can nevertheless assist in detecting cardiac abnormalities, including arrhythmias and atrial fibrillation. Wearable biosensors are being developed for portable electrical devices right now. Tattoos, gloves, clothes, or implants synchronized with mobile phones or other electronics are examples of devices that may be incorporated with or into the human body. Biosensors aren't currently widely available, but they have the potential to transform the healthcare and telemedicine industries. Experts will connect nanoparticles to smart devices to track the mobility of these particles in the bloodstream, allowing for highly advanced wearable electronics in illness prevention and early diagnosis. Once in the circulation, the particles will identify aberrant indicators like cancer cells and send the information to a wearable gadget. This implies the nanoparticles will be able to identify aberrant cells before they are visible on a PET machine screen, allowing for earlier therapy. It's critical to understand how consumers interact with and experience new technology in context before approaching it. A reality check is frequently required to know how people would use wearable displays, rather than how they're supposed to or expected to use them. We've seen far too many brilliant wearable technologies fail because corporations expected people to interact with them unnaturally. There was insufficient user testing. The first Google Glass was envisioned as a consumer consumer wearable smart glass device. However, it did not catch on as expected, resulting in a costly UX fail. The same human-computer interaction concepts that work so well on smartphones don't apply when the device is worn in front of the eyes because they directly obstruct the most natural face-to-face -face interactions. Other individuals grow suspicious of the gadget user, isolating them socially until they remove it. Google has now learned from this UX fail to consider Google Glass's social environment and refocus the device to have more industrial uses. Wearable tech now has a more natural position in the office than in the broader social sphere. Wearable screens are far more intimate and attached to the user's actual body than any smartphone or mobile device. Designers should recognize this from the start of the product development process and cease focusing just on hand contact. Take for example, the eyes. According to studies done using wearable devices in a hands-free environment, the pathways individuals choose when their visual talents are in command diverge from what is expected. Regardless of rationality, individuals tend to arrange and move in consistent ways with their natural behavior. To complete that task, they tend to gravitate automatically toward the more straightforward, faster pathways, which are never straight lines. Designers working on wearable screens are immersed in a unique environment of locations and interactions they have likely never encountered before as most of their users have. Grids and interaction routes, for example, are fantastic for handling large volumes of material at once on websites and in other settings. However, there isn't much room for complex interactions with wearable screens. Designers should focus on simple movements and touches, complemented by rapid feedback to provide the most excellent experience to consumers. Wearable screens are gaining traction and are poised to alter the future. While fitness trackers, smart gadgets, intelligent clothes, and virtual reality and augmented reality headsets have all garnered mainstream acceptance, they are just the tip of the iceberg. According to Bloomberg and the information estimates, Apple Glasses might be available by 2023. These augmented reality smart glasses are to transport information from a user's phone to their face. These glasses will sync with an iPhone and show texts, emails, games, and other information in the user's field of view. That is all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more.